Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to be joined by Kim Clark, the general manager of Mount Ashland. Kim, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. So how's the season going so far? Season's been excellent. You know, we started off with a great December. We had 109 inches of snow, a big improvement over last year's four yeah. inches, uh, and had a, a near record December. And then things have been rolling along. We haven't got quite as much snow in January and February and March as we normally do, but we've had some great sunny days. It's brought a lot of families up, and overall we've had a very successful year. Yeah, we're getting winding down March, of course, and it is spring break. You guys are open right now. Yeah, it's Oregon spring break. We're open every day this week. Uh, normally we're closed on Tuesday and Wednesday, but uh, we've mm -hmm. been open every day this week. And our daily operations will end this coming Sunday, and then we'll go to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday operation only for the following two weekends. Okay, all right. And uh, just a little background. Explain the relationship, if any, uh, between Mount Ashland and the city of Ashland. Well, the, yeah, it's a, it's a long relationship. <laughs> sure. uh, when Mount Ashland Association formed 21 years ago as the nonprofit operator, uh, the city stepped in, the city of Ashland stepped in to help out, took the donations, took over the special use permit, and we've operated under that uh, format and that relationship up until last year. Last year, the city uh, voted to go ahead and relinquish the special use permit back to the Forest Service with the advisement that Mount Ashland be able to take it over. In a year ago, in, this month, uh, the permit was issued to us, and we are the permit holder of record That's very moving good. forward. So Big big step for you guys. And, yeah, and, yeah. and I know you're, you're hoping to expand. Tell us, what are you hoping to do up there? Uh, we're hoping to start the first part of our expansion. It's been over 20 years of, of studies and trials and tribulations getting there. <laughs> and it's actually a four-part process that we're going to be going through. The first part is we're going to be doing some run widening on some of the existing runs only with some tree removal. Um, once again, these are the existing runs, nothing in the new expansion area. We're going to be working on that. Hope to start that at the end of April. Uh, then around the end of August, we're moving into the next section which is adding some much needed parking. We're going to be adding 101 parking spaces right at the front of the parking lot where you come in. Oh. All the material coming out, uh, because it's in a bank that we're gonna be cutting into, all that material will then be taken up onto Sonnet Run, our beginner, yeah. and recontoured so it's more of a bunny slope. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> have that head wall right in the middle that tends to uh, slow people down. And then the fourth part is uh, now that the legal injunctions have been lifted and we can move ahead, we're going back to work on the 23 restoration projects for the watershed that we agreed to do uh, as part of the original 2004 document by the Forest Service. So we're very excited to get going on all of this and get moving on this and hopefully be able to show our guests the first improvement in over 15 years at the ski area. When that, would that be this, this coming winter, later yes. this year? Yeah, we plan wow. to have uh, almost all of the restoration projects will be done, except for, I believe, there's six that will only be partially done. All the rest of those will be done. The tree widening, run widening will all be mm. done. The parking will be paved wow. and ready to go. And uh, we're really looking forward to the parking aspect of it. We've parked out, filled our parking lots 11 days already this year. Wow. And uh, on the, those biggest days, people are parked sometimes a half a mile away. Yep. Uh, and so it's you a long, do what you gotta inconvenient do, right? yeah. hike to get there. And this is going to bring people back within an eighth of a mile of the ski area. Oh, so. that's great. All right, well, yeah. we're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more with Kim in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. Again, we're here with Kim Clark, the general manager of Mount Ashton. So, Kim, we're talking about these expansion steps you guys are hoping to take. Is there anything standing in the way? For what we're hoping to do right now, nothing is standing in the way. That is all clear. But as far as expanding opening up the new terrain, adding new lifts. That is still in litigation. That's heading to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, and we're working through that step by step. But the parts that we're working on right now, everything's uh, free and clear, and we're just working with the Forest Service and all the other agencies that need to be worked with, Jackson County, T Department of Environmental Quality, all of those on mm -hmm. moving ahead on these, and everything's on schedule. Mm -hmm. And now that you are independent from, from the city, are you, do you still work with them on this sort of thing, or how does that happen? Yeah, we have an agreement that we came up with with the city uh, when the transfer was done with the special use permit. And there are several parts to that. Uh, one, we have to maintain some financial solvency. We have to have all of the money up front before we can start a project. This project is about mm -hmm. $250,000. We are still actively fundraising on that, but we do have those funds set aside. Uh, we're working with that. Uh, all of our plans have to go to the city so that they have, at minimum, a 30 days 
time to review all the plans and, and if they have any comments. So we're working hand in hand with the city, uh, particularly with the Public Works Department, and uh, that's mm -hmm. been great. We've been getting everything into them and, and waiting to hear their feedback. That's a very, very exciting time for you guys. Congratulations on all that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, yeah. And so uh, lastly, I know uh, you've got a big weekend coming up. Obviously, the season is winding down, but you guys are open for a couple more weekends, correct? Yes, we are. Um, we'll go to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday after this coming weekend. And the final weekend, the 12th, 13th, and 14th, we do a challenge. It'll be the eighth year we've done the challenge. If we get 1,000 guests up there over the three days, we will reopen back up for the following Saturday and Sunday. If we don't get 1,000 guests, then we'll call it a season right there at that point. There's so. nothing like t-shirts, skiing, and snowboarding. I love it. Correct. <laughs> yeah. And we, you know, we have made that challenge every year. So hopefully yeah. folks will come out and uh, come up and support it. It's Pear Blossom weekend. There's a lot of things going on. But they can come up for a half day. We count them all. <laughs> Very good. That's good to know. Okay. And uh, lastly, if anybody has any questions or wants to read up on the expansion, can they do, can they do so online? Yep. They can go to mtashland.com, go into uh, the sections in there and all the documents, everything's on there. And uh, we just look forward to wrapping up a great year. want to say thanks to everybody that's come out and helped support us. And uh, we look forward to seeing everyone the rest of this year and into next year. Also, our season pass sale for next year starts April 1 oh, and wow. runs through April 30th. So this is the point where you can make the most savings on a season pass. Very good, Kim. Great to see you again. All Thanks right. for coming. Thank you. See you later. Stay with us. We'll be right back.